Hey YouTube, wanted to do this talk this morning because I always drink a lot of coffee and get super jacked up and caffeinated. I'm like, ee, on everything. And I came across this quote, which I felt was important in today's era to readdress um, again. Anyways, as the quote goes, what you leave behind is not engraved in stone monuments, but what is woven into the lives of others. What is woven into the lives of others. This means the experiences and the compounding effect of your behavior matters. In a world, this narcissism pandemic that's going on, where your value is um, attached to your belongings, which I think is a fatal flaw, but you know, we all wanna have value in this world. You know, that's been going on around a lot lately in this uh, existential dread, but this has far-reaching implications because what you do matters and your behavior, your attitude has a ripple effect. And even though those memories fade with life, the, long re the longer reaching implications of your of your day-to-day -day actions matter. And that's what sculpts this, this whole society that we live in. So it's really not any kind of surprise that we have with the advent of so many amazing tools, this um, fueled, propelled narcissism in cultures around the world. I've, you know, had to say no to a few friends because they weren't, people need or shouldn't be permissive. They were allowing that behavior to continue around them. And we need to stand forth and say, you know, call it out for what it is. You know, you're gaslighting me. You're being too shady. You're not you know, getting back to me on time. Like we can't keep letting these things slide. And this is a, this is a new phenomenon. I mean, people used to just let say no, that's taboo, and have their head in the sand. But now everything's out and open, and you can do whatever you want. But we need to set term limits on this on this sort of um, behavior that we're introducing into the world. So I'm just asking that you be more conscious. And in this brave new world that we're entering, our cooperation with each other is going to be super important. That we not be like the Chinese and putting Muslims in determinate rehabilitation camps. I mean, that's wrong. Think about that. Everything is castles made of sand. We don't get to hold on to any of this shit. You can't take any of this shit with you when you go. So like, what you do in your day-to-day -day interactions has consequences, not just for you, but for everyone around you. And so, for the holidays, enjoy your loved ones if you have them. Embrace 2020 with a new change. New days are ahead of us. If we all strive to live with integrity, we can see this world into a better place. That's all I got, guys. Just wanted to let you know. Have a good week. I'll catch you next time.